This is nice because it's now lined up and all I have to do is evenly press that in there. Have it like this. Slot towards me so I can see what I'm doing. On the other side, slot towards me so I can make sure when, once it gets to the seat, I'm good. As I'm tightening this and pressing the bearing, I need to look inside this hole so I know when it's seated. side of the inner primary case there's an oil hole right here when we put in the retaining ring, we need to make sure we do not block that hole so here's the hole on the other side for the retaining ring this gap needs to line up with that hole It's blocking that hole, so we need to move this. There we go. This has the oil side. Put that directed towards the primary case. Double check the snap ring, make sure it's not in the way. Press that thing right in there. Remember before assembling this, put some oil on the inside of the seal. Looks like the race got a little warm. Here's the tool that's supposed to fit behind the ring and it doesn't fit because from what I've seen, it's because these races tend to go that way and I really don't want to take apart the transmission to get access. What if I file edges here and just try to pound it on a little bit? It's a shot. Okay, so I, I just filed a little bit off the corners there and I wanna know if that will be just enough to get this to slide in. I just like using heat. The hottest part of the flame is this very tip here. And that's where we want it. We only want heat in the race. We do not want heat in the shaft. this on there it's not moving so what I'm, I'm gonna leave it under tension and just soak it and then I'll come back in a little while hopefully that'll give it time and the reason I tap this is I'm trying to help get that lubricant to move in the gaps with this polar tool it works a lot better when using antices on the thread and put antices inside here
race out evenly, make sure I'm in the right direction. <laughs> Lubricate it some more. Let it soak. That should be straight, not bent. If I were to buy one of these again, this block would be a lot more sturdier. So when using an air tool like this, do not work in between your legs. Because if this thing goes, <laughs> Look at that. Damn. Next is the race. I'm going to slide that onto here. The manual states to install the chamfered edge first. However, both sides appear very similar. The manual says thirty-five, thirty-two, thirty, and twenty-eight adds up to one hundred twenty-five thousandths. For the tool, apply some anises to the threads. This will make it easier. It says the chamfered side goes on the inside. The old one lettering was on the outside. I'm going to do the same thing. And this needs to be pressed in there between 100 and 125 thousandths from here. However, the filler gauge will not fit. I wish somebody made a video letting us know we need a filler gauge that is bent that will fit in there. Oh, that's me. So these come up to 114 thousandths. We'll put it right there and then we'll press that in. 114 thousandths is approximately in between 100 thousandths and 125 thousandths. So here's a specialty tool that I bought, purchased. This I'm going to press that on evenly. Put anti-seas in here and definitely put anti-seas at the base here because we're going to want this surface here. We want this to have anti-seas on it so this does not get galled at all. Put in gear. So this is a 10 millimeter. Again, this is reverse thread. I really like these gear wrenches. Pinch and eight. The Chrysler wrench is a lot more comfortable to hold than a 10 millimeter. Are you guys as nervous as me? Check the filler gauge. Because I don't want to overdo this. Um. One could make a go no go gauge, one at 125 thousandths and the other at 100 thousandths, and just see which one tells in between. I have a point of contention. I bought this gasket four months ago. It's silver. I just bought this one that's black, and it costs twice as much money as the silver one. Now, how does it double in price in four months? Or are they charging twice the price for black? I need to find out. With this, with this gasket, there's these two tabs, and they line up perfectly right there. Loctite blue. I like to put these on the bolts ahead of time. Sequences one, 
two, three, four, five. The torque is 25 to 27 foot pounds. One, two, three, four, Next item to install is the shifter linkage. Before putting the starter in, I want to lubricate this a little bit. Put a, some assembly lube in there. Starter. Blue Loctite on here. I'm just going to bring that up to and touching. I'm not going to snug it. This one here.